the entire purchase of the house, less the land cost, which will cut down your taxes, and the property value hopefully keeps going up every single month. And then if they do move, you get forfeited deposits. Show me any kind of an asset where you get all those advantages on, only in real estate. And remember, I got in the house free, so I'm getting all these advantages for free. It's normal you actually spend money to buy an investment to make money. In real estate, we buy the properties, and then we make money without having to make the investment. So I probably shouldn't be saying this, Whitney, but most of my tenant buyers do not buy. Mine don't either. <laughs> well, well, you see, there's two ways to run our business. We can force <laughs> them to buy, babysit them through it, or hand them the keys and set it and forget it. And I choose to set it and forget it. And if they buy, God bless them, and I'll certainly do everything I can to help them. But that's only if they want to buy. So may the goose live forever. All right, so Ron, of course, I get this one all the time. In fact, this is one of the big problems people can't get in their mind when they first start, and that is, why would the seller take a monthly payment? Well, there's a whole lot of reasons, and most of them won't. Only the ones that don't need the cash or have any cash coming. So obviously, if we're going to get terms from a seller, it means they don't have any cash coming because we're buying it for what they owe or close, or they don't have to have the cash. And the people who have to have the cash are simply screened out quickly uh, on autopilot so that we are only going to deal with the ones that pass our scrutiny. So here's some more reasons that sellers will sell on terms. Number one, it's a quick sale. I mean, we can I can buy a house within three days after getting an agreement signed with a seller because I don't have any of those costly entanglements or no loans and all that stuff. They get debt relief. And that's probably the biggest reason people sell with a loan on their house, get rid of that payment. They get stress relief. Getting the house sold is a big deal to a lot of folks. In fact, it's, it's such a big deal. Some of them actually get ill trying to get it sold. And uh, I know you may wonder, why don't they just list it with a realtor? Well, there's a whole list of reasons why they won't uh, do that as well. And sometimes the realtor won't even take it because of different situations that they know that they're, they're wasting their time on it. But, you know, I don't know why they don't listen with realtors. Um, but I can tell you that we are the fastest and the easiest ways for any seller to sell a house. And I usually pay all the closing costs, and there is no commission to the seller. All of those are good reasons. We buy it as is, and we get a much higher price than the investor is going to pay any uh, get anywhere else selling it any other way because there is no commission. We pay the closing costs, and, and, and if the house is free and clear, we create an income for them. It could be a long-term income. And sometimes the sellers would rather have the monthly payment because they don't want their kids to get the money. And so all these reasons. And frankly, I would suggest, folks, that you just quit asking why. Don't think why will drive you nuts. Um, ask what and when and, and let the seller decide what's best for them. And I'm coming back to that in a minute because that is extremely important. All right, about 75% of the time, now look, get this very closely because if you get this, you'll understand that the terms business does not necessarily mean that the seller is going to take a monthly payment. It could simply mean that the seller is allowing you to make their payment. If you'll go back to the two examples I showed you, the seller is not collecting any money. I don't owe them any money. I bought the house for what they owed. They just agreed to let me start making the payments on the house. That's not a hard decision. When I'm getting them out of the house quick with no cost to them and they're getting a debt relief. Loan stays in their name until I pay it off, but they are not making the payment. I am. Remember, we're close with attorneys. Um, all right, here's another one that I put in here. Uh, no personal liability or no balloon. Oh, this is one of the ones I showed you earlier. Remember, when I bought this house, I guaranteed no debt. I either took over their debt uh, in a, in a uh, trust, a grant or revocable trust, we call them land trust, therefore no liability to me, and, or I did what's called a wraparound mortgage or deed of trust, still no liability to me. So that's very important to me that you do not guarantee this debt. And, uh, and as many times as I can, I don't put any balloon. A balloon is when all due and payable sometime in the future, and I try my best to avoid them, but if I do have a balloon, it's going to be several years off. So how many sellers do I need to call to get a deal? I get this one asked all the time. And Whitney, was this a real tough one for you when you went in? I got to sit here and call 100 people before I get a deal. What do you think about that? 
That sounds like a lot of people you got to call, but I, I agree. You have to talk to a lot of people and you got to get used to hearing no because everybody's not going to be a deal. Did you struggle with, well, why would they take a monthly payment? I did until I talked to my first seller and they offered it. <laughs> okay. So are you telling me that the seller actually made you an offer, Whitney? Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> they were okay. in a bind and I came in and helped them and I solved their problem. So, yeah. All right. So uh, how many sellers do you need to get a deal? Well, I wish I could answer that for you because if I could, uh, I know it might make your mind easier. But the truth is it all depends on two things. Number one, where are you getting your leads from? Are they quality leads? Are they junk? And how are you handling the call? Well, fortunately, I got both of those covered for you because I give you a whole list of way to get uh, leads coming in. But it all starts right here with this. This is our property information sheet. This is the beginning of the entire process. This is where our VA or you or yours starts collecting information on the seller so we can decide what to do with it next. Now, if you take a look at this sheet, you'll see a, a uh, box down there called A, and it says, will you sell for what you owe? Now, that's only applicable if there's a small gap between what they owe and what they're asking. And if that's not the case, then they're, you're at their ask a B. Would you consider taking a monthly payment until we can pay you off in full? If the answer comes back yes, then we call it a yes lead. If it comes back no, we call it a no lead. Now, Whitney, you tell me, which one are we going to get most, no's or yeses? No's. Everybody's got no's. one. <laughs> so you mean to tell me that most sellers want retail price and all cash for their house? Tomorrow. I am shocked <laughs> to hear that. <laughs> so, guys, I don't care what business you're in. You're going to deal with a minority, not the majority. Mm -hmm. So please don't let me give you the impression that everybody you call is going to want to do business with you because nothing could be further from the truth. And that is why, my friends, we need somebody else doing all this calling. And our virtual assistants do that about 25,000 times a month for our students so you don't have to do this. So you just take these sheets and you follow instructions, and I'll come back to a script in a minute that you read and find out whether they're in or out and get their questions answered. So anyway, this is the sheet that starts the whole thing, and our VAs will produce leads for you. In fact, we have this thing called a gold club where they come to you every day in your inbox, and then I will teach you in the system I'm going to offer you at a really, really cheap price here in a few minutes how to get as many leads as you possibly want, and some of them are absolutely free. So here's a bigger look at those two boxes. But the truth is, whether B is a yes or a no, I have a script for you to call the no's and convert them to yeses. And here's a shocker. You will probably get more deals out of the no's than you get out of the yeses because our VAs do all the work for you, and they will provide you with these sheets. But honestly, there's going to be about four to five times more no's than yeses. So when you can read a simple script and convert them to yes by laying out the reasons they should actually consider selling to you, then you'll find that a lot of them will convert. So I'm going to give you at least seven ways, inexpensive ways, to find uh, uh, these deals and get them coming to you. And then, then we're going to have discussions about leads and then quality leads because uh, the, the big uh, big thing you're going to learn is the more quality uh, leads you get, the easier they are to convert. So anyway, if you get my system uh, at a ridiculously low price, I'm going to offer it to you for here in a minute. Uh, uh, the information about our VA service is included. They are an inexpensive service. They're trained to do nothing but call your leads for you. And frankly, uh, for a couple hundred dollars a month, they will replace an employee. And by the way, I use the exact same VAs to call my leads as well. Uh, who calls your leads? Whitney? I'm calling them now, but I'm getting a lot of inbound calls. I'm not making a lot of outbounds right now. So you mean they're calling you and yes. you're taking the calls and then yes. just going through the scripts after you get the information sheet? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Well, we use Pat Live. This is a company that takes all of our inbound calls for us which apparently I need to work on Whitney to implement. <laughs> so we don't I, have to take them. <laughs> I used to have Pat Love, and it's really awesome. Yeah, well, 
Um, I will never take inbound calls. I instruct my students to never take inbound calls because they're not qualified. They're not available all the time. They're usually in a bad mood when they do call. They don't know what to say. And for pretty soon, you know, you're going to get turned off because you get all these people calling you that are they're definitely not going to be deals. So I would prefer uh, this 24-hour answering service do it for you. You take a few questions, uh, get answered, like do you have a house for sale? And then that comes to you. You send that to our virtual assistants and let them do all that hard groundwork, call on all those sheets. And then you simply uh, get the sheets and start calling them, and I'll get you the script here in just a second. So that means you don't waste hours on the phone talking to worthless suspects. Somebody, some smart guy told me the less I do, the more I make. <laughs> and I believed him. Um, <clears throat> so you just simply select the ones you want to forward. And sometimes they're out of your area for whatever reason, and you don't even want them called. Now you simply read the appropriate script, make an appointment, when you get the right answers. And here's the script, one of the scripts anyway. If you were to get a yes on B, it's as simple as, Whitney, I'm going to ask you to pretend like you're my seller, okay? Okay. Can you act like a seller? Hmm? I will try. All right. You're not going to be mean, are you? <laughs> no. <Nasty. laughs> All right. All right, so here we go. I'm calling the seller. I'm calling Whitney back. Hi, Whitney. This is uh, Ron calling about the house you discussed with my assistant the other day. You got a minute? Yes. All right. Now, folks, this next line here is assuming that somebody else is making these calls for you, and you're not, and they're resorting to you as the boss. Or you could be making these calls and using this same line, resorting to one of our mentors or somebody else as the boss, so you're just collecting facts for them. That makes it easy for you to not have to worry about what you can't answer, and not immediately they know you're not really the principal. So, well, look... Look, Whitney, my job is to, uh, to uh, set an appointment for my boss who, who writes the checks, actually, and I got a couple more questions to verify if he or she should come. Uh, I got all the facts here on the property information sheet that I got, so I'm not going to go over all that again, but uh, you've indicated that you would consider taking a monthly payment if, if we could agree on the price and terms. Is that correct? Yes. All right. So where I'm going to go from there is I'm going to let the seller make me an offer by answering some simple questions. And here, my friends, coming up is those are those simple questions. I call it the million-dollar script. So let's, let's slow down here a minute. I'm going to ask these questions to the seller. The seller's answers will determine whether I'm going to make an appointment or not. And um, if the answer, is, if I'm calling on a yes lead, uh, I'm going to convert about 15 to 20 percent. Of, uh, of I'm going to convert a 15 to 20 percent of the uh, yeses, and I'll probably convert somewhere around 10 percent of the noes. So this is all in my system. So um, by the way, if you want to get the information on now, you can call that uh, phone number 800-567-6128. All right. So there's also a no script, and this is just a script designed to convert that uh, no to a yes, and they all lead to the same in results, which is the million dollar script that asks them the big three. So it's the same introduction, but then it starts down here. But well, we found that some people don't have a clear understanding of what we do and why it's in their best interest to work with us. But once they get clarity, they conclude that it may be in their best interest. So I can tell you, uh, uh, we can cash you out, but it will be a delayed cash sale. So that right there keeps me from reading the rest of the no script, which is simply just a list of uh, benefits for them selling to us. If they insist that they have to have cash or nothing, well, then obviously we're going to move on and move out and get to the next uh, seller. But, Ron, I hate making calls and it scares me to death. Well, I understand, but then get someone else to do it for you. If I hand you the scripts, they're very simple. Anybody can make a call and read the scripts and actually set the appointments for you and pre-screen those appointments. So, uh, Whitney, I'm going to read to you the million-dollar script right now. So, folks, listen closely because this script is worth a fortune to you. I only need three questions asked to determine if I want to go see the seller or not. So are you ready, Miss Seller? I am ready. Okay. Whitney, if we can agree upon uh, the terms here t today, what would be the least you could take for your house? 122. Uh, is, is that the best you can do? 118. Okay, so you are flexible, right? Yes. All right. All right. And um, we usually buy with nothing down, okay? 
that's fine. All right. And um, I see your payment on this house is twelve hundred and twenty-two dollars a month. So uh, uh, we, uh, uh, if we can agree on the terms, then I will make your payment until it's paid in full. All right. Can you make that payment next month? Uh, I don't know. Let me discuss that when we get to the house and I see what I'm dealing with. Shall we? Okay. Okay. All All right. right. Okay. Well, it sounds like you're flexible. So now, folks, I'd go right to the appointment script. I'd, 